So final exam date, dates back to at least five to six years ago. Um, I did a course on a debt, pretty much, pretty much exactly what, what you saw. So it was a course online at Yale University. At one point during the course, I, I, it, it just dawned on me and it was like, okay, so what if you had 26 hours of courses about debt condensed to seven minutes? And so that's, that's the story in a nutshell. That's where it comes from. It was a lot of just wrapping our minds around uh, the story and uh, what it was about uh, philosophically, psychologically. A lot of that, just sitting down and trying to figure it out. For me, it was tricky because this is a person who is an academic, and I am absolutely <laughs> not an academic. So just figuring out the language of what she is actually saying is, is, was tricky because it's not a straightforward back and forth dialogue. You know, you're having a philosophical debate about a moment in time that, that, that I know nothing about, and it's quite complex. Death is kind of a confounding thing, or at least confronting one's own death is a confounding thing, and it outstrips anything that might count as a, a, an adequate or correct emotional response. You know, no matter what response you have to it emotionally, that can be gainsaid or doubted uh, from another perspective. Um, but so the fact that this, the, the characters in this film have a dispute that they do not resolve, um, in a sense, does express my outlook. On a personal level, between when we started to write the film and when we stopped doing the film, um, uh, my mother passed, and so this whole debt experience takes on a whole new meaning. And for me, somebody who's a lot older than, than, than Mina, it's a, it's a question that I think about a lot. So I, re I really related to that in the script, you know, the conversation about death. It's, it's yeah. quite interesting, very Absolutely. interesting. It's fascinating, you know. I mean, I found it interesting to come to the project identifying more with the professor, but to try to write it so that the audience connects with Zaid primarily and is confronted with the professor as kind of this voice of reason for better or for worse, right? You draw your own conclusion. We don't draw any conclusion on a philosophical level. Uh, and that's that was really the main thing for me was that we don't, um, we don't give an answer. I mean, the professor doesn't have an answer for Zaid, and we don't have an answer as well. So, um, so yeah, whatever they want to think Zaid is going through or where he's going, that's fine with us.